Welcome to this session of Sonera Therapy. My name is Altaz and it's quite hot here in the UK today and uh, so pardon me if I'm sweating and I have my windows open so I hope it's not uh, too noisy. And I was hoping to share some uh, recent pickups with all of you, uh, ones I'm very excited for. So when John did his challenge where uh, he was going through all his films and seeing how many consecutive years his collection goes back from present day. And so many others also participated in that challenge, including myself. I just felt that, wow, there's so many uh, early films and we're so lucky that, uh, that they're available and out there and being put out by like incredible labels such as Kino Lorber. And as you know, here in the UK, since uh, we can't participate in the Kino sales, the uh, Criterion Flash sales, the Barnes & Noble sales, what uh, we do here, or for myself, is my go-to is Boutique Home Video. And I'll put their link in the description below for all you people who are in the UK and are interested in getting some of these uh, US releases here in the UK. Uh, they're a very reliable source and um, you can always reach out to them for special requests as well uh, through the website so definitely check them out and so first uh, through boutique home video i noticed they had in stock uh, uh, seven titles uh, from kino lorber some really excellent like classic titles and i thought since they're already here i should scoop these up uh, and I'm very excited to check each one of those out, but I'll go through them uh, with you one at a time. I'm sorry, I have not unwrapped them yet, so there might be a bit of glare on the plastic. So I, excuse me for that. So the first film stars Margaret Sullivan and Herbert Marshall. And what a team. Uh, you got a screenplay by Preston Sturges and directed by William Wyler. And the film is from... 1935 and it's the good fairy so this looked really interesting to me this film so i scooped that up next is a alfred hitchcock title an early hitchcock from 1929 uh really cool that kino has put this one out and it's blackmail And then uh, this one is from 1956. It's a color noir and the setup seems very interesting. And this one I hadn't heard of before, but uh, I want to explore it. A Kiss Before Dying. The next one, another title that stars Margaret Sullivan, this time with uh, Charles Boyer. And it's a film from 1941, black and white. And that one is Backstreet. Then uh, this one is a nice early one from 1934, black and white, W.C. Fields and Baby Leroy. I have never seen anything with W.C. Fields, directed by Norm MacLeod. And uh, looking forward to this one. It's a gift. Looks like it will be quite funny. And then one starring Claudette Colbert and Ray Milland, and it's directed by Mitchell Leeson from 1940, and that's Arise My Love. I just love the artwork on all these discs. I really like the painted covers. Those are, those are stunning. And then this one, I saw the, a film called The Accused, but this one, that one was with George, Jodie Foster, and I don't know if it connects it. 
it's it's a remake, but I thought that Jodie Foster one was a true story based on a true story. I'm not too sure, and I don't know if I'm mixing that up. But the setup in in this film, um, which stars Loretta Young and Robert Cummings, directed by William Dittrell, is The Accused, and it's from 1949. And the situation is is that Loretta Young and Rob, Robert Cummings star in a film noir classic that accused a story about one woman's successful self-defense during a struggle in which leads to the death of her attacker. So I thought that was uh, a very uh, intriguing synopsis. And uh, noir recently um, been watching a lot of and uh, checking out a lot of noirs uh, as a friend of the channel, Mike from Grade 1951 Media Channel says, you never have enough noir in your life. So I've been really adding the noirs to my collection. And having said that, moving on, these being in the UK, you have the benefit of uh, having a lot of great UK labels uh, right here in, in the country. And one of the great ones is Indicator. And Indicator does like excellent box sets. And uh, so I splurged a bit and grabbed three box sets that just looked very interesting to me. And since we were talking about noirs, they put this Columbia Noir number five set out, focusing only on Humphrey Bogart stars. So Dead Reckoning, Knock on Any Door, Tokyo Joe, Sirocco, uh, Family Secret, and the the harder they fall, which is a Bud Shelberg uh, book that they adapted to film. And if you can see that these indicator box sets are just so nice, they're hard box, and um, yeah, you don't want to grab them before they run out. So they give you a number as well. I don't know if I was clear the first. So four thousand four hundred seventy five from six thousand. So. This one is getting close to its final 1,000 that are still available. And then once I think these box sets go out of print, just maybe a few of the titles from this box set will then come out in, 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 in kind of a standard case uh, as individual releases. And then since we are also uh, talking about classic film, uh, there's a classic actress whose films I've seen none of them. And uh, I've been really enjoying the Marlena Dietrich, uh, Joseph von Sternberg set from Criterion uh, that I purchased uh, last year. So I've really enjoyed that. And I thought, well, this is also a great one that Indicators put out. And it's a Mae West set, Mae West in Hollywood, 1932 to 1943. And it has all these films in here. And um, looks like a very uh, interesting uh, box set. This one, 1,934 out of 6,000. So I'm surprised to see that uh, I think it's been out for over a year and only uh, 2,000 have sold so far. I mean, so this one's there. I think it's worth scooping up if you're interested because uh, this looks like something really rare and special. So that's the Mae West set, and the films in there are Night After Night, She Done Him Wrong, I'm No Angel, Bell of the 90s, Going to Town, Klondike Annie, Go West Young Man, Every Day's a Holiday, My Little Chickadee, and The Heat's On. So really incredible selection of films there. And then uh, the other box set I grabbed from Indicator was a recommendation from a friend of the channel who currently feels this is the best box set released this year. That's Solitary Ronin, who is currently taking a little break as he's moving house. So we hope uh, he's back soon making videos, but he has such a, um, uh, such a prolific cat back catalog of videos of, of so many interesting films from all around the world. Uh, of all kinds of genres 
and so definitely check out his channel and and, and watch his videos you you won't uh, you won't regret it and so that box set is Mexico Macabre which I think is so fitting to check out as we're getting close to October so this will be a box set that I'll definitely be uh, going through quite soon and still this one so far it looks like 374 out of 6,000 6, so there are many of these still available this has been out for a little while a few months so I thought you know perhaps it would be getting to close to 6,000 but it's a relief to know that there's still many available so all of you who are interested in in this one will can uh, uh, definitely grab that and then um, I did a video uh, discussing my experience with La Ventura, uh, Michelangelo Antonioni's film, and uh, you know, positing some four theories that I thought could work uh, for interpretations of the film. And in uh, one of the comments, another good friend of the channel, an incredible uh, cinema tube channel, Roger Kirby, mentioned this film. And I know Indicator had put it out, so I thought this is a good opportunity to grab it. And it's within the 3 for 20 uh, sale that they constantly have going on. So when you go to Indicator, definitely check out. They'll have a 3 for 20. And you can, they're just really great films there that you can grab uh, for a really good price. And that is The Passenger. And since I'm grabbing as much of Jack Nicholson's work as is out there to, to go through, I picked that one up and I also saw there was another Jack Nicholson film there directed by Mike Nichols co-starring Michelle Pfeiffer uh, one that I didn't know of which is Wolf in the 3 for 20 so I grabbed that again October is closely approaching that'll be a great film to watch and I really enjoy uh, Samuel Fuller's work and Indicator has this, before it was a box set, but now it's just a kind of an individual release. But this one actually has three films of his. It's Samuel, Samuel Fuller, Volume 1, Storyteller, Volume 1, and it happened in Hollywood, Adventure in Sahara, and Power of the Press. So I grabbed those for the 3 for 20, so I thought that was an excellent deal. And the last thing is, is this is a very one I've been wanting for a long time or from the beginning of discovering uh, Criterion. And uh, once again, Boutique Home Video helped me source this. And it's a director's films whose films I have felt uh, he makes films for my soul. So I really connect with his films and this is just probably one of the best things Criterion has put out and that's Ingmar Bergman cinema box set and uh, I'm sure many of you uh, collectors already have this one as it's an excellent set and it has some 30 40 of his films all in there so I think it's it's might not be complete there might be a film or two that may not be in there uh, but in general, it has all his films from early to uh, late career and comes with this incredible booklet. I mean, look at this booklet. Right, with this artwork, there he is on there. And you can just see, I mean, just look at that. I mean, this is just really special. And uh, on top of that, this is... All the films here and then uh, the films are not put in like chronological order what they've done is they've kind of created a festival order so if you were kind of doing a retrospective at home of Bergman's films you can just go through each of those so that is an incredible set for those of you who may be interested and don't have it yet and oh, one thing I forgot to show is that with that Mae West set, um, while supplies last, they pro give you a poster. And this is a really nice poster. Look at that. So this is for She Done and Wrong. Very suggestive poster. I think it's pre-code. Uh, and uh, 
Mae West was known to be quite subversive or he, I'm no angel. So look at that. That would be great to just uh, frame up and put in your movie room so you can get that with the box set as well. So I hope you enjoyed me sharing these um, pickups with you. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think about the pickups. If you have any of them, what you, what you think of them, uh, anything else you might want to recommend or mention or discuss, feel free to comment below. And if you're so inclined, please like and subscribe. And once again, I appreciate you stopping by and hope to see you here next time. Bye for now.